LaCroix. We're running about 10 degrees warmer than what we had yesterday. We can think some southwest winds for that, which also cleared out a lot of the low level clouds and fog that we were dealing with for the entire day yesterday. By the way, kept the temperature, the high for Eugene, about 37 degrees. So we're already about 10 degrees warmer, and we're going to be up into the mid 50s for much of the Willamette Valley as we head to the day tomorrow. Before we get there, though, we are expecting snow again across the passes. That's why a winter weather advisory is in effect above 5,000 feet. So if you're driving tomorrow morning, definitely prepare for snow. So the black pavement that you see right now is not going to be the case tomorrow morning. As we kind of head towards tomorrow afternoon, we're actually going to transition to rain. So if you have to drive across the passes, plan to drive in snow. If you don't want to drive in that snow, wait until tomorrow afternoon. That's when it looks like it's going to make that transition to rain. The reason why it's a warmer air mass starting to move in. So those snow levels are slowly going to rise and the temperature across across the Willamette Valley is slowly going to warm as we head towards tomorrow night. Here's the storm system offshore. You can see it looks like a hot mess offshore, but it's eventually going to bring us those shower chances late tonight and early tomorrow morning. That's going to be the heaviest precipitation from this, producing that snow up across the mountains too. But we kind of get a second wind of this with the main cold front that's going to push through tomorrow night. So Christmas Day, I would expect a break around midday. The rain's mainly going to be focused early in the morning and again late in the afternoon. And you can see See across the region showers starting to pick up down toward the southern Oregon coast that'll continue to drift north and translate to snow up across the passes overnight tonight. So if you remember this time last year, we were significantly warmer and it was due to a pineapple express that moved in across the region a couple days before that. By the way, the high temperature in Eugene was only 34 degrees, and that just comes to show that these air masses can drastically change the temperature. So I know it's going to be a mild Christmas day out there, but hey, we're still about 10 degrees cooler than what we had last year. So going forward again, two waves of moisture moving through tonight again as we head toward Christmas night. Uh, snowy passes are expected, but that will transition to rain again as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. The passes again, the trouble is going to be tonight as we head towards tomorrow. Temperatures will start to warm. I would expect by midday tomorrow we're going to see significant improvements across the passes and realistically we're only expecting about one to three inches for those up towards Sanium Pass. Here comes the warmer temperatures you can see as we head toward the overnight hours, we actually start to climb as we head toward Christmas Day. Areas like Roseburg, Eugene, check this out. We're going to be near 52 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Here comes the rain. You can see arriving after midnight. That is snow across the passes. So again, plan for snow in the morning as we head towards the midday tomorrow. We're expecting a bit of a break, a few sun breaks up across the passes, and that main cold front is going to approach as we head toward Christmas night. But again, not heavy rain totals. You can see generally maybe a half inch of rain across across the region and eventually we do get a bit of a break as we head toward the latter part of the week, but these showers are going to continue at least until the morning of the 26th based off of this pattern, but then we are expecting some more rain to start moving in as we head toward New Year's Eve and we'll have that forecast ready for you by next weekend. 56 degrees for the Oregon coast on Christmas Day, wet and breezy day on Wednesday. We're having gusts near 30 miles per hour across the Umqua Basin for Christmas Day. We're expecting most of the rain in the morning, mostly cloudy afternoon temperatures in the mid 50s for the Cascade Passes snow in the morning, rain in the afternoon. If you don't want to drive in the snow, wait until tomorrow night. Temperatures in the 40s by Tuesday and Wednesday for Eugene and Corvallis 54 the next couple of days. So were you here last Christmas? I was not, but seeing that 63 degrees. On I was Christmas. looking back at the records and I saw two days before that the high temperature in Eugene was 32 degrees, so it warmed by almost 30 degrees in 24 hours, and those pineapple expresses can do it. I mean, maybe it's not going to snow tomorrow, but at least it's not going to be 63 hey, you could, degrees. You could drive up to the pass. Would you do that tomorrow? Um, maybe not. I want to enjoy a, a nice day in.